got eight. There's one. Come on. Yep. He just ate right next to the boat. Oh. See it. What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I initially wanted to start the morning going out. It was a very low tide in the morning and I wanted to go out and try and get up shallow on a grass flat and see if I could get some redfish, maybe some snook, maybe some trout on top waters, maybe some cut bait. Right at the dock when I was launching it, there was a big school of threadfin and pilcher just kind of mixed in together. So I threw the cast on on that quickly, filled up the live well and I'm like, all right, Let's see what we can do today. And I actually ended up having a pretty sick day sight fishing some snook, redfish, speckled trout on crystal clear water, super shallow water, and ended up being a great day. So I don't want to spoil too much more, but let's get into today's video. Got a 1 0 circle look right here. Still see those fish over there? There's quite a few of them actually. Hoping if I get a live bait right in front of them, they'll eat it pretty quickly. Let's do a loop knot. Got one of these baits. And belly hook them. Here we go. Cast them over there. See if there's any over there that I can't see. Immediately. Got him. Immediately got a snook over there. I was just like, oh, let me see if there's one over there I can't see. Not a monster, but. Oh, I'm up a little fight now. Oh, we, there's another snook trying to eat the bait off of this, off the line. Uh, he might have just spooked all the other snook that were over there. Hey, dude. There was my snook I was looking for last video. Probably mid 20s. I think there's quite a few over there. Might throw out some live chum. See what happens. Get them fired up. Cute little guy. Get the hook out of you. Right there. Yeah, probably like a 23, 24 inch snook. Not bad for the first fish. Get a release on them. See, dude. All right, let me retie Fred me up a little bit. It did look like there were a couple. There was one at least trying to eat the bait that slid up the line when I was fighting that one. And then he kind of spooked the other ones out from under the dock. So let me throw some live chum. See if that gets them like fired up over there. Maybe they're just sitting on that flat. and a bait right in front of the dock. Wow. Oh, there was one. Yep, got it. There's one. Little guy. Oh, popped off. What are the manatees doing over there? All right, found some snook over here. I'm gonna get this lizard fish out on the big rod. Let him just kind of chill out there. See if there's a big boy out there. There we go. Thing is, they are they're creek snook, so they're pretty dark. So they stand out on this sandy bottom pretty pretty easily. There we go. Got him. That might be a better one. Come on. Yep. That's a little bit better one. Stay away from the dock. Stay away from the dock. There we go. Little bit better fish. 
some sand just got kicked up right here. Oh, it popped off right there. I was gonna say some sand got kicked up right here. This is a good one, right here. I see one. Cruising over there. Got one, got one. There we go. So I fished that one. There's another one over there. That was so cool. There's still a couple of them right at the end of the dock there too. Sight fishing. Can you guys see that snook? Just cruising out there on the sand. It would be so easy to pitch a bait to right now. This is a little guy. Come on over here, dude. Still falling on these lighter setups. Honestly, maybe a little bit bigger than that first one I got. Beautiful fish. Get that hook out of you. Perfectly in the corner of the mouth. There we go, a little snook right there. Third one today, missed a couple more, so let's keep getting some baits out, keep seeing if we can get a bigger one, and then move on after this. See you, dude. He just ate right next to the boat. That was sick. The bigger one didn't eat, but the little one did. Right next to the boat. The big one's just chilling right here. Wow. I just look down, I see two, he's still right there. I just see two snook coming right to the boat. I'm like, ah, oh, let me pitch it right there. Oh, they dropped it like on top of their head, quietly. And he wanted it. That was cool. Come on over here. This one's probably the best one of the day so far. Oh, it's under his gill. That's dangerous. Their gill plates are freaking razor blades. There we go. There we go. Come on over here. This is the biggest one today so far, probably. Right there. Oh yeah, definitely the biggest one today. Probably 26 inches if I had to guess. Get the hook out of him. Beautiful fish right there. I wish I got the bigger one to eat, but I'll take this guy. Get a quick release on him. See you, dude. I gotta check my line on this one. It was under his gill plate. Yeah, I'm pretty afraid. Let me retie. I still can't get over that eat. That was so cool. I was just sitting right here and I see him, the two of them cruising right there, coming right at the boat. He ate it less than 10 feet in front of the boat. Just drops it in front of his face and he's like, ooh, okay. Definitely seems like the solo fish were a lot more spooky than the, the fish in pairs or the fish that are in like a small little school. When they're in the school, or in a pair, a little more competition. They were a little more feisty. Now we got a little wind on the water. It's gonna make it a little more difficult to sight fish. Just a slight ripple makes a huge difference when it comes to sight fishing. Oh, here comes the school. Coming right at me. Got one. There we go. Finally. It's been a little bit. Got one over there. Just right by the dock, right in that shadow. Saw that school kind of cruise over there. I'm like, one's got to eat. I'll loosen up on them now. Now they're like mid 20s. Yeah, pretty much the one shot, that one big one. 
and that's when that smaller one ate, but this is a lot of fun today. Come on over here. There's still some fish over here. Come. I'm just patiently waiting for like a 30 plus to swim over that sand. That'd be sick. Got him around the corner of the mouth. Beautiful fish. They're all roughly about the same size. Quick release on them. See you, dude. Didn't prey me up too bad. Perfect. I see fish, but they might be mullet. something. Is that a red? I got a red. I just cast it up there right by the shadow and little red picked it up. He ain't big. Well, that's a snook and a redfish. Oh, he ain't bad. You see this little darker area? I just kind of cast it over there and felt my line just start going. I'm like, oh, all right. Little redfish. Come on over here. Kind of swallowed it, didn't you? Come on over here. So I've gone what? Four or five snook and now a redfish. I'm just gonna cut it. There we go, solid redfish, probably 18, 19 inches on the live green back up there right along the, the seawall. Get a release on them. See you, dude. I'm just gonna see if we can get a bigger redfish or snook. Give it probably a half hour more. And then, then we can go get a trout for the slam and then see what happens after that. I see a fish right over there. See a fish. Oh, that was sick. Got him. He's a little guy, but that was a sick eat. Pretty much like next cast after that redfish. Little snook. That was cool. I put that bait right on top of his head. Come on over here. Little guy. Big school mullet over there. I'm just hoping I can be positioned and big red or a big snook come by. Oh, like the one right behind me. Quick release on this guy. Of course, that's probably not gonna happen. Yep, look at this snook right here. There you go, see you dude. I got this little guy. See you dude. That was the big one I was waiting for. Came right toward the boat. New spot, right up here by this oyster bar. The tide's up higher now. I'm gonna see if there's any redfish, nook or trout up here. Could get the trout for the slam, or I'm looking for a bigger Preferably a bigger redfish or a snook. And then we'll go get the trout. Not gonna lie to them or anything, just gonna... Well, that's a little more to the, to the left than I wanted, but we'll try it out. Do I have something? Is this a lizard fish? It's the smallest trout I think I've ever caught. So, I guess that's a slam. 
It's a very pathetic slam, but that is a slam. Get a release on this guy. Thanks, dude. Go get bigger. See you, dude. Now I can put inshore slam in the title. Yeah. No, I got to get something bigger. You got to get a bigger trap than that. There's a fish. That's a trout. Did he just pop off? No, he's still on. A little bit better trout. There we go. A little bit better trout. On the live bait over there. That's a solid trout. Probably 15 inches, right at keeper size. Adds my slam a little bit. See, dude. Oh, splash me right in the face. Rigging up this popping cork. You always want to make sure that your section of leader is going on the end of the popping cork, as you see right here, uh, that has the metal beads on it. You want to make sure that's where you're attaching your leader, and because that's what's going to want to sit down in the water. Not the plastic beads. You want to make sure you're doing the metal ones. Then you tie your main line to the side with the plastic beads. Nose hooking them. I think that's a 2 0 hook. Let's cast it out. Now we'll be able to really tell when a fish takes it. Obviously, I could be using it for the actual, like, oh, oh, something's trying to eat it, like, on the surface. I could use it for, like, you know, an actual popping cork and be popping it, trying to get that sound. But these trout are already fired up. There it goes. And reel down. And that's a trout right there. Here we go. Not a bad one. Not a bad trout. Another like 14, 15 incher. Right at legal size. Come, come out here and have a little fish fry if you wanted to. Oh, see you, dude. He heard me say that and he's like, I'm out of here. All right, last spot of the day. Let's see if we can get some bigger fish here. You know what? Let me get this pinfish. We put out a cup bait. Put a split shot on this. I'm just gonna let that sit on the bottom. Right up here by this island. I'll let that sit there. Some real loose drag. Actually, no, I'm gonna put it pretty tight, but put it in this rod holder over here. Just like that. Cut bait, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait. Cut bait is on, was on, is on, can't tell. Is on, got it. Probably a nice redfish. Kinda hard for me to tell, it's not really fighting yet. There it goes, now it's fighting. All right, this is gonna be a solid red. Come on over here. Yeah, redfish. Honestly, about the size of the the one I got earlier. Come on. Here we go. Another like, 18, 19 inch red. This one on the cup bait. Beautiful. Hey, it's honestly smaller. Smaller than the first one I got. Probably closer to 17, 18. Beautiful little fish right there. See, dude.